Aquí es donde... ¡Eh! 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 ¡Hay alguien ahí! I don't think he looked threatening, rather the opposite, Oscar. Espérate, antes de ir vamos a hablar con, con la tía esta. Yo, ese tío... Ese tío eh, ha hecho lo que sea. Se ha ido corriendo como, como si hubiera hecho algo malo, ¿eh? She's asleep. I'd better go and talk to that guy in the other room. Nadie está dormido. Vale. Se había se ha ido para la izquierda, pero ya entra a la derecha, ¿eh? It's locked. No se abre, vale. Aquí. Sir? Are you there? Cuidado, eh. Vamos, va a tener una trampa o algo, ¿no? Qué, qué susto. Enciende la luz. What have we got here? Hostia, un tío de la de la fuerza armada, ¿no? ¿O qué? ¿O que sigue la pista por lo menos? Mira. Es un mono. Es un mono. Lo que está detrás. The go rune. No, not done. She's old, like me. I'm Kate. Kate Walker. Kate? Yes. And you are... You're the one that Leon saved during the Origin Expedition a long time ago, aren't you? Yes. The Goran from Baltayar. Well... You've come a long way, Mr. Ludwig. Ludwig Hart. Es el mono que salvó Leon. Qué grande se ha puesto. Well, Mr. Ludwig, if you don't mind my asking, what happened when you and Leon returned to Ostertal to join the resistance fighters? And how did you meet Dana? Y fuma y todo el mono, ¿eh? ¡Hostia! <risa> Leon, mi brother. These drawings, they're moments from your life, aren't they? Mm. <risa> Is that when you met Dana? No. That little figure there. That's you, isn't it? When you were a child in Baltayar. Yes. And the two adults there? Are they your parents? Uh-huh. Looks like a river. And that little figure looks wounded. 
Is that you when you met Leon and the scientist from the Origin Expedition? Yes. That person in the middle of the others was in the other paintings. That's Leon, isn't it? Yes. Leon. That group. Is it your tribe, Mr. Ludwig? Yeah. So you all live together in a cave in Baltayar? Right. So you and your tribe took Leon in after the death of Reinhard Berger in 1937. That's how he was able to survive the winter in the mountains. Then you went with Leon when he decided to return to Wagen to join the resistance fighters? These combat scenes, are they of the liberation of Wagen? Before, during resistance. Had Dana already joined the resistance operation by that time? I mean, by the time shown in the drawing. No, later. The blonde girl with you and Leon can't be Lenny, right? Yes. Lenny, my sister. I knew Lenny was a resistance fighter, but she never told me she fought alongside Leon, let alone you. She even went as far as saying that she never saw Leon again after 1937. When they all met at the refuge with Dana. Why would she hide something so important? Time to check on Lenny. Come, Kate Walker. The sketchbook. I think it was Leon's. Sí, sí, es la expedición. Sí, 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 sí. No creía que lo he hecho. Lo he hecho yo con el otro. Detonating wire, just like in the old movies. Hostia, ¿Qué, ¿qué es lo que pasé? ¿Una bomba o algo? Weapons. <coughs> Arma. Been here since the war, I guess. El auténtico enemigo. Los super soldados no existen. The symbol looks like a warning. Habita terrorista, 10.000 marcos. Recompensa a cambio de información que conduzca a captura vivo o muerto. Lucky Hatta, más conocido como el asesino de las montañas. Se busca por asesinato vivo o muerto. Forma parte de la, la peor banda de, cana, de la canala de la gente tiene que enfrentarse. ¡Es el mono! ¡Que lo buscan por asesinato! A ver si así nos va a matar a nosotros. These must be plans for secret operations. Must have been some kind of a headquarters here. Maybe for local resistance fighters such as Leon and his group. 
Some kind of map. Looks like the devil pass to me. Could... Could all those marks indicate where the Goran searched for Leon's body? So much happened to the Gorun since Leon found him in Baltayar. What a life he had. But there are still so many gray areas. I need to learn more from Demoiselle Lenny now. back eventually. Judging by your face, you and Ludwig already met. We have. And it raised a lot of questions about you. About what you said to me the first time we met, and about what you didn't say. Of course. You can run from your past, but never truly escape it. <laughs> but you already know that. Don't you, Fraulein? Está con un tío armado, eh? ¿Cómo se empade? I want to understand Demoiselle Lenny. I'd like to understand why you didn't tell me about Leon's death. About fighting with him in the resistance. And about the gore. And about Mr. Ludwig. It would have saved us both so much time and effort. Because it would have only begged questions. Questions which lead to events that I've never spoken about to anyone. Not even to you, dear Ludwig. <laughs> Still... I suppose it... it doesn't matter now. Perhaps it's time I confess my crime. What are you talking about? It was the best years of my life. Joining the resistance, unlike my coward of a father. And fighting alongside Leon after he miraculously got back from Baltayar with Ludwig. It gave me purpose. ¿De qué crimen está hablando? A ver si la asesina o ella. A los dos. No creo, ¿no? Leon was a terrific leader. I could feel he was finally taking me seriously, especially with Dana being missing. I knew he was still in love. After all, didn't he cross the globe to rescue her? But we all thought he arrived too late, that Dana had died with her parents during the pogroms. So, I believed his mourning would eventually come to an end. And that's when Dana fell from the sky, literally. Dana was sent by London, right? To oversee that operation led by your resistance network? The exfiltration of a civilian to Switzerland, if I recall correctly. Indeed. But Leon never told us that Dana was involved. Maybe he was afraid to believe it himself.
¿Es el Dana? ¿Por qué quiere matarlo? Era coile, ¿ves? ¿Qué pasa? Fräulein, it was as if they had never left each other. Do you know if, if Dana ever mentioned a child? Maybe they were planning to have one in Baltaya, who knows? In Baltaya? Yes, that's all they ever talked about. How they were going to live over there after the war, along with Ludwig and his tribe. But it was to be just another broken dream. Right. I should call London now. My radio is downstairs. Ahora tengo que controlar a Ana a ver qué es lo que ha hecho en el pasado. Leon's drawing book. I recognize the mountains of Vargen in these drawings. Leon must have drawn them during his expeditions in the region. These drawings date from the summer we met, when I worked here. These landscapes don't look like they're from the Vargen region. Leon must have done these drawings when he was in Baltaya with the Origin expedition. This is a drawing of the Gorons. Herr Gustav housed me here when I worked at the refuge. I have so many fond memories with Leon here. When I left for London with Junta, I never thought I'd see the place again, let alone be here again with Leon. The Goran's lair. Lenny's old room. I should stay away. Personal effects in a heap can't be a good sign. Leon's men must have settled down in the dormitories. Stash. 
I doubt I'll find anything of use there to amplify the radio signal. Herr Gustav's old radio. I remember we spent many an evening listening to serials when I was- This antenna looks like one of Herr Gustav's inventions. Once this antenna is connected, there must be a way to open it. There must be something else I can plug into it. So Yunta never did come back to retrieve it. Not surprising, really, I suppose, given the fact that a world war broke out. A mess. Herr Gustav must have turned Junta's dark room into a storeroom after she left. Judging by these installations, Leon's network seems particularly well organized. Pity the same can't be said for all the resistance networks the Foreign Office deals with. If this propaganda against the resistance fighters is anything to go by, the Brown Shadow must be pretty desperate. Harold Exner. A scientist with vital information for the war effort, according to the Foreign Office. His cover has recently been blown, which has led to this operation. Better not say anything during the briefing, but apparently Exner has a reputation for being rather hot-headed. The refuge. The place where it all began between me and Leon. Looks like the Goron must be a nightmare for the Brown Shadow. He must be the super resistant I heard so much about in London. We'll need to cross Devil's Pass with the package in order to reach Switzerland. They say it's not the most daunting pass, but still, you need to be escorted by a professional alpinist. Switzerland. The package will be safe over there. The refuge. It'll be the departure point for our expedition into Switzerland tomorrow. An arm stash. Since the departure of Herr Gustav, resistance fighters have been using this place as an outpost. The Allies are unable to send enough supplies to the resistance fighters for them to completely let go of their good old-fashioned methods. Shouldn't think the Brown Shadow appreciate Leon and his group throwing their own grenades at them. This part of the radio is used to receive messages. This part of the radio is used to receive messages.
I need my documents so I can find the right setting. They're in a side pocket of my bag. This part of the radio is used to receive messages. This part of the radio is used to transmit messages. Me transmití y me recibí mensajes. Pero si documento no tengo nada, mira. Ah, vale, que tengo que hablar con los aliados antes de, de usar la radio. Espera, 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 espera. ¿Qué? Claro, no tengo nada, es eh, que no tengo nada. Anda, anda con este. May I? Lenny and the Gorun seem close. It's nice that she's found a friend. Not that Herr Gustav lacked affection for her, but she spent too much time alone in that refuge. True brothers and sisters in arms. You can sense that the three of them stand together as one. The Gorun described Leon as his brother. They must have shared lots of adventures together since Leon saved him from the clutches of Herberger. Your drawings are beautiful. For you, Dana Rose. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Ludwig. It's almost as if you were there with us that night. Leon told me. Did he speak about me? All the time. I should go now. Talk to you later, Mr. Ludwig. Mm -hmm. oh, it looks like Leon and me in this drawing. The Goron must have drawn it from Leon's accounts of us. Lenny! Hmm? What do you want? It's amazing how you've grown. How have you been since last time? Fine, I guess. I found out that the refuge was closed down by the Brown Shadow a few years ago. Turns out your network did the best of it. But... What about Herr Gustav? Is he... Dead? No, he's not dead. Although, for me, he might just as well be. It's quite incredible when I think of you and Leon fighting alongside someone who comes from so far away. Yeah. After Leon saved him during the expedition in Baltayar, Mr. Ludwig's tribe took him in during the winter months. They became inseparable, like brothers. So much so that Mr. Ludwig insisted on coming back here with Leon. 
Now he's our most ferocious fighter, the terror of the brown shadow. See you later, Lenny. Dana, wait. What is it? Do you remember when you worked for my old man, and you caught me playing with Yunta's equipment? Rings a bell, yes. Why? Why did you tell her about it, when you promised you wouldn't? Oh, I... You said we were friends. Well, it got me into a whole load of trouble, you know? I was just a bored kid messing about. I'm so sorry, Lenny. Really. It was mean of me, I admit. But in my defense, all I can say is I was too young at the time. Maybe it was more important for me to earn Yunta's trust than yours. I'm sincerely sorry it happened, but can we leave this all behind us now and be friends again? Fine. Very well, then. See you later, all right? <laughs>